Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare, or MC4H, includes the ability to exchange data between Dataverse and external systems. The Data Integration Toolkit is our management application that allows systems administrators to deploy and manage these integrations. As with other Cloud for Healthcare components, the Data Integration Toolkit is available for installation from Microsoft Cloud Solution Center. You can see from the Details tab that the toolkit includes settings for Dataverse Healthcare APIs, virtual health data tables, and shared maps used by both solutions. Once installed, the Data Integration Toolkit is available as a model-driven app within your Cloud for Healthcare environment. The Toolkit landing page provides an overview of the available integration and interoperability components, useful documentation links, guided steps for initial deployment, and tools for ongoing solution management. In this demo, we're looking at Virtual Health Data Tables, or VHDT, and its new support for Create, Update, and Delete Operations. Virtual Health Data Tables extends Dataverse virtual tables and provide customers direct access to data and external fire services directly from within the Cloud for Healthcare solution. End users interact with these fire records in the same way that they work with standard data saved in Dataverse. With this latest release, end users can now create, update, and delete fire records for resources configured as part of virtual health data tables, then have that data directly written to the fire server. We can see this in action with allergy sensitivities and Dataverse, which represent allergy and tolerance fire resources on the fire server. I've configured this environment to connect to my fire server using the virtual health data table settings tools. If we navigate to the allergy sensitivities view in my Cloud for Healthcare environment, we can see records being pulled directly from the fire server and displayed within my view. Now with a new release, I can actually create a new allergy record from Cloud for Healthcare and have that data saved directly to the fire server. Let's try it now. As previously mentioned, we interact with our virtual health records in virtual health data tables in the same way we would interact with standard Dataverse records. So creating a new fire record using virtual health data tables simply means creating new and saving the record as we normally would. So I'm going to do that here and show you how it works. The difference being, whenever I hit save, it's going to be saved to the fire server and not Dataverse. So I'm going to choose a patient. I've got Amber already wired up. I'm going to save. The criticality is high. The type is allergy. Critical clinical status is active. And I'm going to put in a code that is easy to verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to hit save. What I'm doing right now is it's writing this record over to the fire server. How do I know that it's in the fire server and not Dataverse? Well, I can grab this identifier at the top and I can use Postman to show you. Postman is my development tool that allows me to directly query the fire server using the identifiers provided. We have the identifier up here that's returned as part of our new and our save of our allergy record. Well, I'm going to find that identifier in the fire server using Postman this is just a development tool that allows me to connect directly to the fire server and query it using this identifier. So if I hit send, I'm querying the fire server directly. I'm just calling the API and I can see that I've got version ID one and here's the identifier for this resource type allergy intolerance. And you can see the code is active, the clinical status that we saved high, it's type of allergy and 12345678 is the code that I entered. So we just demonstrated that when I hit save on a new record, this data is all now living in the fire server and not in Dataverse. So we've just demonstrated our create capabilities. Now that we've seen create, let's go see if we can update the record and persist these new values back to the fire server for the same record. So I'm just going to change this verification status to confirmed. And I'm going to add some data here, 798. And I'm going to hit save just like I would any other record. And if I bring Postman back up and we query the record again using that same identifier, remember, we want to update the same record. I should see my values updated. So here the criticality is high. The type is still the same for allergy. You can see my updated code value. So now my record has updated back to the fire server and again, not in Dataverse. As you've seen with this data virtualization capability, you can quickly build low-code, no-code applications in Power Platform that leverage clinical data directly from a fire server like Azure Health Data Services, all without having to worry about the complexities that typically come with working with fire data. Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare documentation is available on the Microsoft Learn site. Visit learn.microsoft.com for more information.